and welcome to the Me and You on Campus with Kamvi. You know how we do it on the show. This is where we have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with exceptionals on campus and of course outside the campus environment. Today promises to be amazing as we have an amazing guest. Mm -hmm. She is the CEO of GM Consult, a Chinese translator and of course a facilitator. I just can't wait for you guys to meet her. You need to grab some popcorn and of course a drink because we can't just wait to learn Chinese today. <laughs> you understand? So guys, just sit tight. Don't go nowhere right after the short break, stay with me. Hey guys, it is still the me and you on campus. Welcome back from that short breather. Okay, today on the show, I have the one and only amazing, sophisticated, and of course, a Amazing young lady. She is no other person than Iloba Gloria Chisholm. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You look quite um, quiet. Are you always quiet? <laughs> yeah, I am. You're very quiet. Yeah. Like, and you really, you like that? Yeah, I'm cool. Tell me, why do you have to style your hair this way? Is it natural? This is virgin hair, right? No. It's not natural. You like being natural. Yeah. Because you have no makeup, but natural is the key though. I like it like that. Yeah. All right, tell me, how did this journey of being a Chinese translator start? It started from when I, I met a friend mm. that just came back from China and he introduced the language to me. Like, mm. he studied Chinese language. So what year was that? That was year 2019. 2019, okay. Yeah, we met. And I felt, okay, since I've been through several traumas at school, trying to put when you things say, together. Sorry, when you say several trauma, what were you going through? I don't understand. What are you trying to tell us? I've been through years of depression. Depression? What yeah, led to that? Because of education. Through this education line, the fact that school, school, everybody saying school, school. I've tried several times. It's not working? Be, it's not okay. working for me. Mm. Not because I'm not doing well. I'm doing very, very well. I understand. But it's just that I don't even understand what mm -hmm. was happening. Mm. The whole thing just moves just like that. Mm -hmm. But still, I cried several times. Oh. It's got to the point of like... <laughs> Committing suicide became like an option, but I said, no, I still have things to do till I find, I met that friend and just introduced Chinese to me. Mm. I was like Chinese of all languages, like of all professions, mm. Chinese, but they were like, I should give it a try. Then I prayed, uh, like, okay, God, prayed about it. Me. I prayed about mm. it because I am more spiritual than this thing. So I gave it a try my first year there. University of Lagos Confucius Institute. It was like, will I continue with this language? Because hmm. it's so, so difficult. And at inception, when we started the first level, we are so many because everybody like Chinese will do Chinese because of the opportunities there. So I just like, okay, fine. But at the point, I, it, like, I got so confused. Like, I was not understanding the language, I was not hmm. picking. But I still encourage myself. I encourage myself, like, okay, if this is what God wants me of to course. do, I don't know how, but I'll just do well and uh, I'll come out strong. So I put my best, I put my all in it. I did it. So the first year, we wrote um, an exam from China. So the result came out and God surprised me because I never knew. I could do well mm. because there are a lot of people. The competition was very high. Mm. There are a lot of people that are far, far better than I am. They are good. And I feel ah, will I be able to? I never believed in myself then. But I did mm. the exam. It came out very well. I came out like the best student. They gave me an award. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> It was wow. And like, I the day of our prize giving day, I didn't want to go because. I didn't know I would, you were gonna, yeah, I'm be going awarded, to be called, yeah. awarded. Right. I was feeling, is it not to go and clap and then let me sit at home. <laughs> but a friend was encouraging me, don't worry, let's go. We should go and cheer up with the people. And that prize giving, there was not just a prize giving. It was something they did like a symposium. They invited all like Chinese companies in Lagos State, hmm. several people. Like I was thinking just a normal no, school yeah. graduation, okay. just go and come back. But I got there, I was shocked. Like, see the crowd, complaints, white people were like, hmm, really? Mm. So from the entrance, my friend, people were just like, congratulations, congratulations, your name is there, your name is there. I'm like, my mm. name, how? Like, mm -hmm. how, where, how, how is that possible? 
So I I was just called upon okay. then they, when they started awards, they gave me a check. They check of how me, much? <laughs> they first gave me a check of fifty thousand naira. Mm. Other prizes mm-hmm. and the award. I was so you came with nothing and went with something. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> in fact, it was. I mean, I even felt like entering the ground. Oh. Then because the crowd, I. I was I scared. Yeah. Like, when they called my name, I almost did not want to go out. We were just go out, go out, go out. Okay. <laughs> now, like, how long okay. did it take you to learn it? It took me just within a year and six months. So, what you're trying to months. tell me, anyone that wants to go into it will learn during that duration? It depends on you. Because I, what I see there is I'm a fast learner. Oh. And also, I am this, I'm a language person. I grab language very easily. Which I of the la- Nigerian languages do you know how to speak? Igbo, Yoruba, Aosa. Like all? The three. Hmm. Chop knuckle, <laughs> chop knuckle. That's nice, that's nice. But first, before we proceed, please say something in Chinese for us. Say, um, I'm here live on the Me and You on campus with Convi. Say something. <laughs> so tell me, when you told your parents you wanted to study Chinese, what was your reaction like? They were like, okay, because they saw all I've been through then. Mm. So they were just like, okay, if that's what you want to do. Give it a try. Since you said you just want to give it a try. I went with in mind, like, I'm mm. giving it a try. Not that I'm going to do Chinese. Let me just see how it's going to be. Like, if I succeed the first place, I continue and I I remain strong. But if not, I just drop it. And as God we have it, I did. They were surprised. Thank because the way well. it came, I was now... Mm. I was learning so fast. I was doing very well. My second level, just taking the first, 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 first. first. Like many many awards with the Chinese like that, so they were like, okay, they supported me. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us a bit about GM Consult. GM Consult is a company like that tends to create economic opportunities mm. and um, eradication of language barrier. Okay. So we, as a company, we tend to promote the Chinese language and not just the Chinese language, mm. educate people on the importance of learning, of learning a foreign language, okay. language. A foreign. because okay. it's very, very important. We learn at least each person should have a view of one foreign language is very important because with language, you can go anywhere. You can go to places and when you find yourself in a place, just a little knowledge of the language, you could be able to communicate because language is like a barrier. Once you can't communicate with the language of the person, like now Chinese, Chinese people, they don't understand English and they are not interested to learn mm. the English. Their own is you have to look for means to learn their language and to communicate with them. All right. Have you been to China before? I haven't. Do you hope to go there soon? Yeah. <laughs> Of course, nice. Now, um, when was this um, GM Consult? When was it? Um, when was it created? GM Consult was created October twentieth, twenty twenty. And how many lives have you impacted? Just few. We, we are just starting. The vision is to becoming clearer. Mm. So we are working on several things. How to reach out to thousands of people. So we are still working on it. So now I want to ask, is there any Chinese Chinese language you want to learn or you still have aim of learning other languages? Yes, I still do have aim of learning other languages. What language. other languages do you intend like to Like French, French, oh. Spanish, German, other languages. As possible, as many as possible. No, for, I love you, language, for you to be able so to speak Niger, so um, Nigerian languages, um, Yoruba, Igbo, you do not speak Aosa, right? Yeah. You don't, okay, Chinese, okay, it's possible. And French, little French. You can say something. I can speak. No, speak French. Let me know. Um, bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Now, what is the importance of languages? For Nigerians like me now, if you ask me, why do I need to learn language? I don't know. I don't really, I don't really think there is an importance for me to learn language. So why do I need to learn language? Yeah, that's a very good question. You need to learn language because of communication. And it's interesting when you 
understand the language of a particular tribe or a particular mm. place. Because when you go there, because you are a foreigner, you are mm. a stranger, just the little communication with the language. But I can, I can at least get an interpreter. You could, but mm. there's nothing like when you understand yourself. You could get an interpreter, the love. Mm. that they are supposed to share with you to be transferred to the interpreter because okay. i've also been a translator and when i go out to help someone to translate to come um business transaction the love for those people to with their clients mm. it will just shift to me the child will be more interested in me than the person that they want to do make the deal with and they'll feel like they can even do go to the length of like the deal that is supposed to be made with the person they can't just want to transfer it to me okay and the person might not be on the safe side so it's best to understand the language all right very, very. so now you've told me the importance of learning languages yeah now how do i start making money from it you could make money from language if you want to if you want to go into business, it depends on the particular language. If it's foreign language, mm -hmm. there are a lot of opportunities. If you want to transact businesses, you understand their language, it will be easy. And also, if you want to go there for tourists, your company, maybe you have something to do with um, another country. Once you understand their language, you can be able to relate. It brings this free, um, free flow. Hmm. Now, is there a need for Nigerians to start embracing the foreign world yes okay. it's very very important Tell because us. the generation now like the what's going on now it's best we embrace the foreign world now because right now language is just it can open any doors when you embrace the foreign world learning their languages you could travel there you could travel to countries that also speak their languages you could do anything with them and it would be very easy for them to entrust their things with you because they feel you understand their language and it's okay hmm. amazing so mm, great to have you. you now aside you knowing all these things aside you doing all these things what else do you also do i also translate i translate okay i teach, teach. Of course, you teach i teach chinese. chinese yes and also into the digital marketing digital marketing yeah web design when did you start that i, I started that before my chinese I before did you, so that. it was what you're known for it was what i was doing then before my chinese language is chinese okay now i need to put you to test as as a digital um specialist how do i promote my business on social media yeah, there are several platforms on social media. You could just promote your business, mm. you could go through any means. Like, um, because I I wasn't fully into the digital market. Mm -hmm. It's more of the designs. How okay, into, you design? Yes, I I went into design of websites. Mm. Then, but I saw that I wasn't really doing so much. They had to drop. That was when the language thing came, and I saw that language is something I had passion for, and I find it very easy to do so i just dropped all those things and switched to language fully i just want language as many languages as i want like language as a life all right because i can speak all the languages all so oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice what are your hobbies yeah i'm interested to know about that reading mm, <laughs> tell me something fun I know you're quiet. <laughs> but tell me something. Mm -hmm. I love reading, writing. I love traveling. I love going out. I love talking to people. How many places have you been to? I can't tell. But in Nigeria, yeah, I've been to several states. I've been to the state. Traveled to Port Harcourt. Different places I've been. To translate or so just to... For tourism? Just to visit. Okay. And to translate. I've translated in, but mostly here yeah, in Lagos. I've mm. translated in Beauty West Africa, Lagos International Trade Fair, several big, big events like mm. conferences. I do conference translator translation. I could just go for conference. When they call me, they invite me. Okay, they are having a Chinese business meeting okay. or a conference. Come translate. I go. And companies hire me. I come hire. And you secure the bag. You're securing your bag. Why are you smiling? Be honest. <laughs> okay. It's very necessary. It's very necessary, yes, of course. Yeah. You can't be I'm without making even the Bible made us to understand that your talent towards will make way for you. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> and it's amazing. It is amazing when I go out there and translating the, the kind of respect, the kind of the way people look at you. Even if you are looking small, mm. they just like when you go out there. It's what you have to offer when you have something there to give out. They they look at you. They don't just look at you small like come on young mm. person. Because I remember when I went to Beauty West Africa to translate the first day when I arrived there as a translator, they were like, is "Sorry, is this the <laughs> translator?" Okay. They were like, "We're expecting someone big." Be, yes, and yes. Out. So it was there. <laughs> I did that, and people from different countries were like, "Wow, you do Chinese things!" That wow, <laughs> just like that. It's so amazing. I'm grateful to God where I am. Of course, because I never knew I would be there. Of course. Yeah. Now, what is your greatest achievement so far? My greatest achievement so far is creating this GM concert. Hmm. Yeah, it gives me joy. Like I've done something. And I've set my path, line of success. I know my target, my focus, the things I work on, how to reach out to many young ones mm. because I discovered that recently young ones out there, there are a lot of misplaced priorities, mm -hmm. like mm. giving them the idea, this language, they could go places and doing it for them and also securing uh, um, economic opportunities for them because I had in view this GM concert when they learn the Chinese, because I'm opening an academy soon, like okay. a language academy for Chinese. Where you get Chinese. to teach. Okay, you get to Where teach. they come to learn. Okay. They learn for like two years. After that, I create opportunity for them. I um, My view is like, I want to relate with a, a Chinese university, okay. partnership with Chinese uh, universities, okay. universities okay. in China there. So that people from GM consult, they have access to go to that university mm. to study a particular course, maybe for, for like a year. Or they get it, to pay. They'll be going on scholarship. On sc I'll wow. do it wow. on scholarship. Wow. wow. If only those that are serious okay. when they are learning, yeah. Probably you pick the, one, the best. I'll uh, pick the best. best five those, best two, or, okay, I guess. Not even just the best five. If everybody is serious and they're doing well yeah. and they'll take exam, your results, okay. your performance matters, then you go to China, you go study any skills because I want this Chinese people, they are really growing so, so far. They are mm. very good. I want also a, a place where Nigerians too can do what those guys are doing. Mm -hmm. If we can go there and learn maybe a skill like technology, something, you can bring it back. Because after learning there, you don't you stay, okay. you, come you back, come back and you practice and you use what you've learned. But there. you need to be very careful because some will go and never come back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal. All right, tell me, do you have any challenges so far, you know, during your pursuits of your career? Yeah. Okay, tell yeah. us. Because right. people oppose. So people like, your dreams are too big. They are too wide. Mm. Who told you you are going to get there? How do you want to get there? Like, you just oppose and challenge it sometimes. People just talk you down, what you know. But I just encourage myself and also... Pat yourself at the back. Yeah. Yes. Tell myself I can do it. Okay, Gloria. I want to learn how to speak Chinese. How do I go about it? If you want to learn how to speak Chinese, you get first the right person, mm. being the right person that is into Chinese. We give you instruction, direction, guidelines. Then you go out, you sort for materials, mm. and you what get kind of a materials? tutor. You get a tutor. What kind of materials? materials? Like Chinese for beginners. You go oh, for oh, beginners. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get someone to put you through, teach mm. you because Chinese is a very ah. Uh, complicated All language right. because if you feel you can learn it yourself at some point you get confused mm. so you need someone to put you through that journey of chinese language okay, nice one. okay before yeah. you go say something to our viewers at home please i would say find what you have passion for mm. do what you like and what you enjoy doing and never give up people will talk you down people will like you don't know what you're doing you just play just don't listen as far as you have the view just set your goal very well target and run with that vision that you have definitely you do well yeah All right thank you so much thank you very thank much thank you for coming on the show thank you and i love your smile <laughs> thank you you should smile often though yeah okay i know right? right thank you so much yeah. so any social media platforms where we can actually get to you yeah on facebook Tell it. At Same. DM Consort. Right. 
on Facebook, on Instagram, GM underscore Cosnot, and we have WhatsApp platform. Do you teach? Yeah. You teach? Yes. All I right. Do. So you can reach out to me on WhatsApp first. Wait, is there a discount for anybody that is coming from this show? There should be a discount. See, if you watch this show and you want to learn how to speak Chinese, please call, the, say your number. You must give them discount, oh. There is, there is. Mm -hmm. There is, before you swallowed me. Yeah, hey, good. Discounts. There <laughs> is. Um, my number is 081 mm. Gerge, just yeah. call oh, only if you want to let. Don't call for any other thing. You understand? <laughs> Send me a message. Rather, a message. Because right. call, I might not pick your call. Okay. I think you're yeah, the big girls now. No, ah. I'm not big girl. Like, sometimes I'm not with my phone. Phone, or, okay. Um, you chat me up. All it's right. better. Thank you so much for coming on the Thank show. Thank you very and much. And I enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah. Um, I think behind the camera, we'll talk about because I need to learn. Okay? We'll talk about that. And maybe money will be for free. <laughs> <laughs> problem. Okay, yeah. all right, guys. This is where we need to go. Yes, I don't want to leave, but you know what? When the show is getting interesting, you mm -hmm. need to take a pause. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. Reaching down on your screen. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel at e Campus Television for more amazing and of course juicy content. Do you wish to connect with me? Well, hurry now to my IG handle at official combi. So, like, come your way again next week. Stay with me. Bye for now.